Hello everyone, it is great to see you here once again on D's Delights. It is still waffle week. Tonight we are going to make mac and cheese waffles. I hope they're good because that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. So here is what you're going to need for this recipe. One six to eight ounce box macaroni and cheese. I got Kraft. It's 7.25 ounces. You're going to need two tablespoons of butter, one quarter cup milk, one and a half cups shredded cheddar cheese, one egg beaten, one third cup breadcrumbs, and non-stick cooking spray. So I am using Italian style breadcrumbs because that's what I happen to have in my cabinet. And this is mac and cheese. So that, yeah, that'd be good, I think. We'll see. So in a medium saucepan filled with boiling water, cook macaroni until al dente, which is about seven to eight minutes. And if you look on the craft box, it's seven and a half minutes. So what we're gonna do is just cook it like we're gonna cook box macaroni. My water is now boiling because I was prepared tonight. I started it. <clears throat> okay, so that is underway. Next, we're gonna turn our waffle iron on, get it nice and hot. And then of course, we're gonna spray it with nonstick cooking spray and mine is vegetable oil. Great value brand. The macaroni is just about done, so I'm going to drain it. I'm going to melt the butter, the two tablespoons of butter, on low heat, even though it's going to be high. Then we're going to add the milk and the cheese packet and whisk well. Okay, we're going to remove it from the heat. And we're going to return macaroni to pot. And we're going to add one cup of cheddar. One cup of cheddar would be four ounces if you shred your own cheese. And we're going to stir this in until the cheese is melted and the macaroni is evenly coated in cheese sauce. All right, that looks good. We're going to stir in the egg, the one, the one scrambled egg. Our third cup of breadcrumbs and we're going to do this until evenly combined. Spray that now. Let's just scoop about a third of the cup. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little more cheese on top. Put that down. It's going to take about maybe five minutes. We'll see. My handy dandy little timer. Okay, I think mine are crispy enough. Now be careful getting them out of here because they could fall apart if you're not careful. Look at that. Little mac and cheese waffles. You just let them in there to the desired crispiness that you like. And you just keep, oh my, you know what? That is some good stuff. The cheese that gets a little crispy and burnt. I don't need a big one. <laughs> you know, let's just break it apart. Heck, we can just eat it like this. I really should wait till it cools down. But I tell you what, if you like crispy cheese, like I do, you're going to love this recipe. No need to have manners. Just give it to the kids. Here kids, here's a waffle, your mac and cheese waffle. Go eat it. Yeah, I like it. I do indeed puts a new twist on the basic old craft mac and cheese. I would give this a nine. I like it. I think your kids will like it too. I think everyone will like it. 
So thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights. And have a fabulous week, everyone.